Sometimes you might need to send the same email to a bunch of people and the Gmail mail merge solution you're about to learn is a great way to do that. I'm going to step you through two different ways to do it, uh, step by step, uh, and it's a really simple process, so stick around. I'm Jimmy from jimmyrose.me and Content Snare, and if you'd like to learn more ways about how to automate your business and get more productive and just random tech tips like this one, please hit that subscribe button below. Now, if you're watching this and you plan on spamming people, you suck. Uh, but there are plenty of perfectly legitimate times when this can apply. So in my business, I've used this uh, when I'm working with several partners and I need to keep them informed about something. And I don't want to just add them to my email list because if I'm sending an email from say Active Campaign or a CRM, there's going to be an unsubscribe and a bunch of stuff at the bottom that clearly makes it look like I've gone and put them on an email list, uh, which I don't want that look. I've also used this in my personal life uh, to send out wedding invitations because who still uses paper and cardboard? One thing to note is that if you do overdo this, your emails are going to end up in spam. Like you can't use this to go and send like a mailing list to thousands of people. It's just not gonna work. You're gonna get your email blacklisted doing that. There's no hard rule for when your emails are going to end up in spam. It depends on the kind of emails you're sending, how many you're sending, your previous reputation, like what kind of stuff is in the email, like what kind of words. Um, so just be careful with this and use this sensibly. So the two processes you're going to learn, the first one is yet another mail merge, which is a paid tool, but there is a free tier that will do up to 50 emails a day. It's a little bit simpler to get started with, so we'll, we'll go there first. The second one is using a Google Apps script that you can install in like a couple of clicks. It's still really simple, don't worry. Uh, I'm gonna step you through it. So let's get into it. So first have a look at the Gmail sending limits. So Gmail actually does limit how many emails you can send a day through different kinds of accounts, whether it's just like a free Gmail or uh, like a G Suite. Uh, I'm not gonna go through this in detail just because it does change. It literally says here, sending limits can change without notice, uh, but I'll leave the link in the description to this article. I mean, if you're not going crazy with this, you're probably going to be fine because you can see the numbers are relatively big there. Uh, okay, so first thing to do is to jump over to this site here, yetanothermailmerge.com with dashes in it. You can just, of course, Google yet another mail merge and that will bring you here. So first you have to install the tool to your Gmail account. So you can just click this button. It'll take you over to the Chrome web store. Now I have already installed it, but if you haven't, uh, you'll get the install button there. Just follow the prompts. Once you've done that, all you're going to do is create a new spreadsheet in your Google Drive. I actually use the same sheet every time, so I don't have to go through and create a new one. And I just call it mail merge. So when I do a search in my Google Drive, it shows up and I'm ready to go. And I've got some sample data here. So go ahead and create your own sheet and you can just give it a couple of simple headings for now. I'm going with email address and name. You might wanna call this first name and if you wanna have a last name, every one of these columns are things that we can use in the email body, right? So if I had another one here, like you wanted to send everyone a coupon code or something. If you wanted to fill that out in the email, I'll show you how to do that now. The next step is to go over to Gmail and create a draft. So I've just got a new email up here. Um, literally just go and click new in your account uh, to get a pop-up for this. And we're just going to create the email. So let's say it's going to be hi name. So remember we had name as the main thing. You need to make sure this is exactly the same. And to add this to the email, you do two curly brackets. Then you put in the column header. Oops, so I've pasted in some spaces there. So I'm just gonna make sure I paste that in without any formatting. And then you want to do two close brackets. Let's keep this really simple and just say your coupon is, I'm pretty sure it was coupon with a capital C. Yep. I'm gonna go cheers, James. And I'm gonna leave my default signature there. Um, give it a subject. Here's your coupon code. And you can actually set this email up however you like. You could put attachments on it. You could put a BCC address. 
Um, I'm actually not going to do that just because I don't want to BCC that person all the time. But yeah, you can set this email up pretty much however you like. And this tool is going to duplicate this email every time and send it to all your recipients. If you're using email aliases like I am, and you can actually change the from address, you can set that here as well. So once you've got that draft, that's already saved at this point, jump back over to your spreadsheet, go to tools, go to add-ons, yet another mail merge and start mail merge. You'll get this thing here that says that it needs your permission to run the script. So go ahead, click continue. Uh, and click your account to give this script permission to run on your account. It's gonna bring up a box. Every time you load it, it'll try to upsell you to an account, but from the free account, you can send 50 per day. So go ahead and continue. You've got the name there, so you're probably gonna leave this as your own name, most likely, and then just click this. And this shows all the drafts in your account. You can see there's the one we just created. Here's your coupon code. If you go away and create another draft, you just hit this reload button to, to bring in the new ones. And then you would hit this button now just to go and send those four emails. But first, I would always recommend doing a test. So hit that button. You can see there, check your inbox to view the email. It's gonna jump over to my Gmail account. Uh, and there it is there. So you can see that the name worked and that the coupon code replacement worked. That's what you wanna check here. Make sure there's no curly brackets still in the email because then it means you've done something wrong. And at that point, all you've gotta do is go and hit send. Now, uh, these emails are all just going to come to me because I've used the uh, plus syntax in Gmail, which it actually ignores everything after the plus. So these are all going to come to my standard email. And you can see there it's ran that mail merge and it's created a new column here just to say that the email has been sent. If you click on it, it gives you the exact time that it was sent. Uh, so if we jump over to my email now, we should see four of those come in. So you can see our four emails, Bob, Sally, Jimmy, Sarah, have come in and that's it. Um, so if you're sending under 50 emails a day, go ahead and try uh, yet another mail merge. There's a, another method though, uh, that basically isn't going to be subjected to these limits. And it's also not an external tool. It's just a script that runs in your account. So if you have, I guess, uh, any concerns with giving another company permission to access your Gmail like that, this next method does not have that as a requirement. So for the second method, go over to this URL here. I will drop this in the description below, but this is basically just a script that is provided on uh, the Google developers, uh, G Suite solutions area, contributed by Martin Hawksey. It's slightly more complicated, but honestly, it's still very easy. So you're gonna first go down here and click this link here to create a copy of the sample sheet that they give you. And it's gonna take you directly to this link to copy the documents. Go ahead and make a copy. And it's going to drop that directly into your Google Drive account. If you wanted to move the folder, you can just click that there and specify where you wanna store it. But I'm just gonna leave it here for now. Now you can see here, it's given us some sample data, pretty similar to the last one. It's a bit more complicated. They've just added a few different things there, but it works in the exact same way when you're creating a draft. With this one, you can't use the BCC addresses and the aliases don't work as well. So pretty much all you're going to be able to do is the subject and the body of the email, similar to this. But this time we've got slightly different things, right? We want first name. So make sure it says exactly first name in here and make sure it says discount code here. And if you're going to add the other different things, like I think there was description, I'll just use that one as an example. I'm not gonna go through and create all of them. I'm sure you can see how that's going to work. Notice one slight difference here in yet another mail merge, we had email address as a column, and that's what it expected. Uh, and in mail merge, uh, they've called it recipient. I believe it gives us the option to choose the column. So it's not a big deal, but I mean, you may as well just leave it as, as it is after you copy it. So at this point you can go ahead and use mail merge send email, but it's not ideal because it doesn't actually set 
the name you're sending from. So my personal email address here would actually show up as the name rather than just my name, James Rose. Uh, so we're gonna do a couple of quick edits first and we're going to go into a script editor here. Don't freak out, it's, uh, it's actually pretty easy. So we're gonna go to tools, script editor. And it's going to open the script, which is running this entire mail merge. So just scroll down and you'll see this section here where it does the Gmail app dot send email. This is the part we're going to edit. So all we're gonna do is uncomment this. So delete those two slashes and change your name. And if you wanna set any of these other things, you can do that here too. So if you wanted a BCC address, like I said, it doesn't work in the draft for this one. So instead, just delete that one and change your BCC there. Or if you have multiple email aliases like I do, instead of changing them in the draft, you would change the email address you wanna send this from. Now, if you're doing this, make sure uh, you actually have this set up as an alias in Gmail and you'll know that if it, uh, shows up in that drop down there. If it's not set up, it's going to try and force a random email address that you're typing in and that's almost definitely going to end up in spam. So make sure that's an alias. Uh, I'm gonna leave that for now because I'll just send it from my personal address, but I do wanna make sure that name uh, is done. And you can see here that it will be sending attachments from the draft as well. So attachments do work with this option as well. Anyway, once we've done with that, just go and hit that save button and jump back to the sheet, click mail merge and send emails. Again, it's going to ask for permission, so bring that up. Now this one says the app isn't verified with Google, so it's gonna be this extra step. Uh, you have to hit advanced and then go to uh, Gmail mail merge. It says it's unsafe, uh, but it's just giving permission to run a script that Google hasn't explicitly verified and that verification process is really big now. So I guess if this isn't comfortable for you, uh, you know, go ahead and use yet another mail merge, but um, I'm fine with this. So I'm going to go down and click allow. Uh, once that's done, you actually have to run the script again after you do the permission thing. So do it again and see here, it actually asks for the subject of the draft. So it doesn't give you that drop down like the other one, but that's okay. We'll just go back here and select, here's your coupon code. Maybe I'll call it number two. Um, because so we can see which ones are coming from which tool. I'm just gonna click out of that, make sure it's saved. Oh, actually, just before we do this, I should uh, go ahead and change these email addresses to something and go ahead and run that script. Again, I'm gonna paste that in and hit okay. You'll see it says running script at the top there. And once it's finished, it fills out that column there to say the date the email was sent. So if we jump over to my email again, here we can see the two new emails. So it's set the name to me uh, and it's gone ahead and gone uh, Bob and the coupon code and the description column from, uh, from there. Now, what I didn't cover here is testing. Again, this is definitely something you wanna test as well. Um, to do that, literally just do it with one line I just delete that, put your own email address or another email that you have access to in here, run that mail merge on your own email first, just to make sure all those placeholders work and then come in and, and dump your full list. So you could always you know, create another sheet here uh, with all your emails ready to go and then just copy them over um, afterwards once you've run that test. Okay, that's it. That's how you send bulk email using Gmail's different mail merge options. These are two of the simplest methods there are, so I hope uh, that was fairly easy to follow and you're able to solve that problem now. Again, if you'd like to learn more about automating your business, becoming more productive, or just learning cool new tech ideas, hit that subscribe button below. I'm Jimmy from jimmyrose.me and Content Snare, and I'll see you in the next video.